Welcome back to the All Seasons channel. Today, Cameron and I are going to be patching the roof over here on this travel trailer. A tree limb fell from way up there somewhere and went through a roof. It just got the it just got the roof and the wood underneath of it and did not go into the paneling inside, so that was pretty lucky on her part. She got our nice big old insurance check for the roof and we're just gonna patch it up. So uh, we're gonna take you along. All right, well, here's the hole. And uh, the uh, hole goes all the way over to here. It's damaged the OSB board. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just take and cut the roof, the rubber roof out a little bit, cut, cut the bad wood out and put us a patch in here and then uh, use uh, Eterna Bond to, uh, to, to make the final patch on the rubber roof. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is kind of square, uh, square us up a little bit, get us some marks. just as much as we think is bad wood. I see James at at the uh, AZ Expert. He'd probably be putting a new roof on this, but the people just want it patched up. So that is what we are going to do. Now they got me some marks on there. I'm probably gonna take and just cut the rubber about a half inch past my marks because this is how much wood we're gonna replace. been saying for two weeks I need to put a new blade in my knife. Now might be a good time to do that. So there's our hole. So we're gonna cut, we're gonna mark this out again. We're gonna cut, cut this bad wood out and put us a, put us a wood patch in there. And uh, then we'll patch the rubber. Yeah, if you guys wanna see some good roof videos, go watch uh, AZ Expert on YouTube. The guys, he's like a roof guru. He does, he works on some really nice coaches too. You'll, you'll enjoy his channel, go check it out.
we're going to end up with a patch. It's going to be six, six by five, roughly. Just use my old Dewalt cordless saw to cut this out with. Y'all, uh, watch your eyeballs. There's the hole. Yeah, I got uh, I got some plywood down there in the truck brought with me and uh, so that we can uh, use it to patch this hole up with and I'll show you how how we're gonna do that let me go cut my patch and, uh, and I'll be right back cut my little patch it fits so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two little pieces of fern strip under here so we can attach this to them. I can tell you for a fact their sewer vents working very well today. Must be it right there. That thing that's an antenna. Jeez. Well, I'm gonna have to be uh, Take, uh, take just about an inch off them, each one of them. Right there's the sewer vent. It's working very well today. Just in case you were wondering. Yep, take an inch off that other one. We'll put that fern strip under there and then we'll screw the fern strip to the old roof. And that way we will have something to attach our, our uh, patch to, our wood patch. And that way if somebody gets up here walking around, it'll be nice and solid too. I don't have to worry about stepping through the roof. Put one on this side also.
Now we got something to put our patch on. Put our patch in there. Boom, like that. Screw it down. Did I have some wider stuff in there, Cameron? Seemed like I had a roll that was wider. It's like a foot wide, I thought. Would be in the same box. Uh, I cut me a, I cut me a little rubber patch, which is nowhere near the right size. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Seven. Here, cut me a, cut me a little rubber patch six by seven. Cameron's gonna go cut me a patch the right size. Um, we're just gonna lay that on there and glue that with some, uh, some 3M Super 77. It's just a contact cement, and that's just so that uh, when we put our turn a bond patch on there, uh, it'll be nice and smooth. We know rough edges because uh, the Eternabon is awesome stuff, but it, is, it seems like it's super fragile. So, so yeah, we're gonna just put a little rubber patch on this just to protect, just to protect the Eternabon. Go ahead and get this roof cleaned up a little bit. Get ready for a patch. That's roughly where our patch is going to go, our Eternabon patch. So I'm going to clean the roof real good. Um, I actually started using just a, a parts cleaner, brake cleaner. Because um, the, the roof cleaner that they make for this is really expensive and it smells uh, just like brake clean. So I've just started using brake clean. It works awesome. All we're trying to do is just get the uh, tree sap and uh, any oils or anything that might be there. Also, our Eternabon sticks. This is the Eternabon stuff, the roof, roof leak and repair tape. And to be honest with you, you know, the, the Flex Seal tape might be the same thing. I don't know. I never really used it. It looks this very similar, so it may be the same. I don't know. I just buy the Eternabond. Cameron did a much better job than I did. So, we're gonna spray both surfaces of this with this contact cleaner. As with any contact cleaner, we gotta let that dry for a minute or so. All you do is just wait for it to tack up a little bit, and then you can put it, uh, put it on. Here we 
ago. Just so everything's same height here. This will probably barely show through our Eterna Bond patch. Okay, so we got that on. Now we're going to put our Eterna Bond on, take the release paper off the, the back side of it. I'm just going to start with one corner. Try my best not to get any wrinkles in it. Sometimes that's easier said than done. There's that. The Eterna Bond is pressure sensitive. So you have to press down on it. And yes, they make special rollers for that. So years ago when I bought my first Eterna Bond, they didn't make the rollers yet. So I just went to Lowe's, picked up that little handy dandy roller for a couple bucks, and it works awesome. Just really want to roll this out really good, because like I say, it. It activates with pressure. Start in the middle, work your way to the side. And start in the middle again, work your way to the other side. And we're gonna start in the middle and go the other direction. Start in the middle and go the other direction. Then we're going to go diagonal. It's all done. I'm just going to go around the very edges. Make sure the edges are down really, really good. And there you have it. There's a patch in a hole in your rubber roof. All right, well, there you have it. There's patching a hole in your rubber roof with the Turnabond patch material. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and um, if you want to contribute to the channel, go to the About tab, find the PayPal link, and you can donate there. And uh, as always, you don't have to, but if you do, we'd greatly appreciate it. So uh, me and Cameron, we're going down the road and uh, fix another one. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.